You guys, today is the day we are slaughtering our four white broad breast turkeys. We are getting our stuff set up right now and the water is heating up. Real quick, we'll show you the setup that we're gonna use today. If you're looking to learn how to process a turkey from raising in your yard to this, then you need to watch this video. If you guys would, please consider dropping down below, hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out. So here we have our five gallon bucket killing cone. If you haven't seen that video, we're gonna drop that right up here. It'll show you how to make that super simple and affordable. Just gonna go with the five gallon bucket under to hopefully catch some of the blood. We have a simple fish scale here. Um, this is gonna be to hold the legs uh, when we slaughter it, just to ensure that it stays in the bucket. And then over here we have Nova. We have our propane burner. You can check this out. All the, all the stuff that we're using today to slaughter, uh, we got off Amazon and I'll have them in the links below. So we got this on Amazon, a 30 uh, quart pot. Water's at 150. We just got this sink here we're gonna use um, for plucking and whatnot. And then a trash can and a slaughtering table. Then we got our cooler full of ice here for the cool down. And we're gonna use a plucker with the drill attachment here. Got a thermometer for the water, our knife, our poultry shears to cut the neck off, and our shrink wrap bags and supplies to do that. Sure. Dixon, Dixon, come on. Uh, a bungee cord to hold the bird in place in the bucket and now we're just gonna go right behind the windpipe and we're gonna slice in and out real fast it should hit the artery and let it bleed out All right, and that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the bird out. Uh, it's completely stopped its movement and we're gonna dip it in the water and then start the plucking process. We're gonna kind of stir this in there, push and pull until the feathers and the wings are able to be pulled easily.
بچه هرم هم Just be careful because this can be kind of nasty. It's kind of ridiculous, huh? How good it works. It's barely using any power either. Now that this is plucked, we're, uh, or most of the way plucked, we're just gonna cut the feet off and just get the joint feel in between there where it kind of rotates and then use your knife. What we're gonna do is cut the back of the neck up to the base, then we'll slit the skin all the way around, exposing everything. I'm gonna pull the skin back down to the chest, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut the head off using our poacher shears. Throw that away. Then we're going to separate the windpipe. And kind of pull it down. Open this up a little bit. And we're gonna pull the crop out. I don't think it stays closed, baby. It's on a hill. Yeah. Alright, throw all that away. We're gonna flip it around, flip it over, lift the abdomen skin, and lightly cut across until you expose the inside. Be careful not to cut the intestines in there. Um, you just don't want to make a mess. Then we're going to kind of... Now we're going to cut around the anus. Careful not to cut anything.
Cut this off without breaking the sack. Throw it to the side. And now we'll try to rip all the intestines out. way let's go ahead and cut the neck off at the base oh my gosh throw your neck to the side and then we can just go ahead and rinse it off Gonna cut the gland on the back of the turkey. Straight on the back side of the tail. If you cut into it, you'll notice it's like a little bit golden brown. Um, just make sure you cut all that out. That gland just keeps the feathers uh, nice and oily. And we'll just remove it. Slit at the top. That way, let all the air escape and uh, not get not get much water in the bag at all. So, do a slit. Good. So we're just using a hanging weight and zip tie it around and it looks like it is, is it 22 pounds. Alright so all four turkeys are butchered, processed and bagged. We got two 20s, a 22 and an 18 and a half. Um, they look pretty nice and they should be good Thanksgiving meals. They're all shrunk wrap and uh, you could cut this off to make it a little bit nicer but you don't have to. We'll stick these in the fridge for about two days before we put them into the freezer and that way they don't get too tough 
If you guys would, please consider dropping down below, hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel out.